In a rip, my tick. Like two plus two is four, or ten minus four is six. Like ten divided by five is two, or four times two is eight. Specific values are stated and calculated, but in algebraic expressions, we see something strange. Letters called variables have values that can change. Look at two plus x. What's the value of x? Don't get perplexed. The explanation isn't too complex. If x equals six, then the value is eight. Or if we say x is three, five's what we'll calculate. The expression's value changes based on the variable's value, and in this case, the sum will be any number plus two. Now let's explore algebraic expressions in our lives Like shipping a cube shaped box to my valentine S to the third power is a volume formula S represents a side It's the variable letting me know if my game will fit inside If the value of S is two feet, the volume's a cubic feet My gift will fit inside, I hope she thinks it's sweet Now to wrap my present up, I'll find the surface area I know A equals six, S squared is the area formula S is the variable, but since I already know the length's value is two, I plug in the two feet and then I know just what to do. Two squared is four, then times six is 24. I'm using algebra to get my crush to like me even more. To identify parts of expressions, we use mathematical terms. Some product factor quotient coefficient term are words we will learn. We find the products when we multiply, quotients when we divide. But let's look at the vocab closer and take a deep dive. For example, let's describe the expression 3 times 2 plus 4. We can describe it as the product of two factors. And if we look at just 2 plus 4, we can either see it has the sum of two terms or a single entity. The next word we'll review is the coefficient. Let's look at n plus n plus n plus n. We could say 4 times n or 4 n without the sign. 4 is called the coefficient, a number telling us how many times to multiply.